84 divided by 6. So, here's 84. It is not in a rectangle with 6 on one side, is it? I want to make it into a rectangle with 6 on one side. So the first thing I see that I can easily do is take out 6 tens and move them here. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on that side, right? And I have 10 here. Now can I do that again? Nope. Don't have enough. So I have gone across this 10. Okay, that 1 is in the tens place, so it represents 10. Um, so, and if you need to, go ahead and label those. So, how much have I taken away? I've taken away 10 times 6, which is 60. I took away 60 from my original 84 here. So, 84 minus 60 is, whoops, what's that about? 24. Okay, so I have 24 left, and I still would like to make this into a rectangle with 6 on one side and something on the other. So 6 times what is 24? 6 times, here we go, 6 times 4. Trade this 24 for 4 sixes or 6 fours, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so now I've made a rectangle with six on one side and I have four on the other. So I'm going to put a four up here in the ones place uh, because I've gone across four ones. Okay. Um, and so I have, I had 24 down here and I took away 24. So four times six. 4 times 6 is 24. That's how much I took away. So to show it in symbols, minus 24. And I have nothing left. So my final answer, the other side of my rectangle is 10 and 4. And up here, 10 and 4, 14. So this looks exactly like this. The entire rectangle is 84. One side is 6, right there. Other side is 14. 10 and 4, 14.